You should put the sign out. Where are you going? You can't go outside. I have to. You should put the sign out now. So, you like any of the places we looked at today? Um, no, not really. <laughs> no, huh? Well, don't worry. See, we're going to find something really nice. Trust your father. All right. Well, this was a bad idea. Dead end. Okay. Well. Dad, look out! Oh, Calvin. Are you okay? Yeah. What's with the screaming? What do you mean? You didn't see it? Right across the hood. What? I didn't see anything. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my son, he just he thought he saw something go in front of the car. I'm oh, sorry. What'd you see? It was a ball. Oh, ain't nobody playing ball around here. Is that your sign? Yes. Can I ask you a couple questions? Yeah, pull in. Okay, great. <sighs> How's that for luck, see? Sure. Tyler Graham. Nice to meet you. And this is? That's my son, Calvin. Hey, Calvin. How old are you? Ten. We've been looking at places all over. Uh, come on in. I'll give you the tour. Maybe today's your lucky day. <laughs> Maybe. This is the first time I've shown it. Just finished restoring the place. It was beautiful. Did you do all this yourself? Oh, I'm semi-retired, so a little here, a little there, you know. Really nice. Yeah. it ever bright in here? I added a few windows. Look at the view. <laughs> Beth would love this. I'm so glad you think so. Like I said, it's a great space. And the backyard stretches as far as you can see. What do you think, Calvin? Bigger and nicer than anything we've seen. Thanks a lot, huh? I'm thinking this one might be out of our range, Chief. So what do you think? Well, I have to ask the dreaded question, what are you asking for rent? Well, let me ask you. Given all the other places you've seen, what would you be willing to pay? When are they moving in? In a few weeks. That's cutting it close. We'll manage. Is he baptized? It doesn't matter. He'll have to do. You've done your part for now. Let me worry about the rest. Was I right or was I right? 
Not saying you were wrong. I still think you shouldn't have sung the least before I saw it. Come here. This place was gonna go fast, Beth. You asked me to get it done, and I got it done. Well, the rent is not exactly what we're looking at. It's in budget. The maximum, Matt. Yeah, with the space we wanted. The extra bedroom, right there, is now your writing room. Hmm? Ah, oh, tell me you love it. You love it. I love the man who found it. That'll do. All right, you two kids, break it up. Am I the only one who works around here? <laughs> Seriously. Just to send out a thought. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. I hate moving. You hate moving. I hardly did anything. Yeah, that's how much I hate it. <laughs> Are you forgetting your old shoebox of a room, little man? You are definitely moving up in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of our friends already own their own places. Oh, totally overrated. All that money for what, a bunch of headaches? See, something goes wrong here, your landlord's downstairs to fix it. Trust me, I've moved nine times in school. Sometimes I think I'm just doing it for the free pizza. No, give it, give it, give it. Like four no, give it, that's too bad. Brat, you know that? Oh, I could totally see that. <laughs> oh, you wish. Okay, I gotta get going, you guys. You all good? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the truck, Heather. Ah, uh, no problem. I will see you at work on Monday. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Mm, thanks, Heather. Noah? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out the new back crib. Just stay inside, okay? Yeah. Hmm. I'll go keep him company in a minute. He should be fine. Seems like a quiet neighborhood anyway. Hello. Hi. Welcome, welcome. These are for you. Oh, thanks. You didn't need to do that, though. Of course I did, but uh, I didn't mean to barge in on you. I promise you I won't make a habit of it. No trouble. I'm just going to take this to the kitchen. Where's Calvin? Uh, he's out getting a lay of the land. Oh, I'm sure. <sighs> sure. I guess you guys want to get settled in, too. I wanted to invite you all down for dinner tomorrow evening, if you haven't got other plans. Say it, but I'm um, not a bad cook. I'm not sure we're gonna be unpacked. No, that sounds good. What time? How about 6 30? Perfect. Wonderful. I uh, thought I might cook some fish. I'll get out of your hair now, but uh, if you need anything, just call down. Thanks, we appreciate it. It's kind of strange if you ask me. Oh, he seems okay to me. You want it? You want to ruin things? No! You want me to fail? Please! You think you're in control, don't you? But you're not! I have worked too long and too hard to let a wicked girl like you wreck everything! Don't! Quiet! You want them to hear you? You keep your mouth shut. I won't let you out until tomorrow. Did I hear some crying or shouting? Ah, the TV. <laughs> they say hearing's the first thing to go. Uh, sorry to bother you. Beth's running a bath, and apparently there's no hot water. Oh, it's an old water heater. Sometimes the pilot light goes out. Come on downstairs, and I'll show you how to relight it. So here we are. This one is your unit. They work great, but the pilot's do go out from time to time, and they can't fire up. So you reach in here with this and just click it on, okay? Right. Want to try it? Yeah, sure. Oh, that was easy. Nothing to it. 
I'll show Beth. I'll get around to clearing a space here for you to have some storage, but in the meantime, I wouldn't let Calvin play down here. There's too much stuff stirring about. No trouble. Do you feel like a drink? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you could use the break, and I could certainly use the company. Uh, yeah, I'll just run up, tell Beth there's hot water, and oh, come okay. right back down. And I'll break open a bottle I've been saving. You not married, Tyler? A few times. A few? Twice, to be exact. My first wife, well, whoever thinks about the first wife once the second one comes along. <laughs> okay. yeah. My second wife was a dancer and ballet. She was, wow, that was a lifetime ago. Still in touch? And she died a few years ago. Mm. She must have been young, I'm sorry. You needn't be. She lived a full life. Death is what makes life worth living, isn't it? The uncertain promise of tomorrow. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. What about uh, Beth and yourself? Uh, have you been long married? Uh, 13 years. Yeah, we got married young. Before we really knew what we were getting into. Nobody ever knows what they're getting themselves into. There are always surprises. Some good, some bad. You look like a strong couple. Thank you. Yeah, I guess you could say that. We work at it. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I take it you're not a regular scotch. No, guy. not really. No, it's very, very good stuff. OK, I can tell, I think. <laughs> you, uh, you said you were a welder. Yeah, I kind of fell into it. I learned welding for sculpture. You're an artist. Uh, I haven't done much for a long time. Just too hard to make a living, so that's where the welding comes in. Sometimes I wish I had taken my father's advice and just gone to law school. I never had much time for lawyers. No offense to your father. <laughs> None taken. I think you've made the right choice, Matt. You only get so much time and even less youth. You gotta make the most of it while you can. You're still a young man. Big things will come your way. You really think so? Like you couldn't imagine. What's up, Calvin? You were supposed to be asleep hours ago. Something on your mind? No. First night in the new home is always weird, Calvin. You're just not used to this place yet. Wish we were in our old apartment. What? You were the one who told me how great this place was. I know, but... It just feels like I shouldn't be here. You'll get used to it. Trust me, there is nothing to be afraid of. It's all just new. I never said I was afraid. Oh, all right, sorry. There's nothing to be nervous about. I'm not a little kid anymore. I know. Sometimes I remember when you were. Want me to leave you alone? Yeah, please. 
And you'll go to sleep? Yes. Okay. I want it to end. I do. When you let that boy see you. I said I was sorry. I just wanted to see. But you knew I'd have to punish you. I don't want anything to go wrong. We have to be together on this. You know that, don't you? I know. I'm not a little girl anymore. Not for a long time. Do you forgive me? It'll all be over soon. Some of this wine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a good feeling about this place. We're gonna make it work. I know. Sorry if I worry about everything. One of us has to. Do you know if you have anything planned for Monday? No. Brian said he's gonna call if a new job is starting up. In the meantime, we've got this unbelievable view. Mm -hmm. Let's enjoy the moment. Here's to our new place. Here's to it. It's ours. <laughs> Not bad. I wonder what it is. Who are you? Mom, what's going on? Calvin, get back. Tyler? Beth? Matt? Up here. Kayla. I'm sorry. You know this girl? Yes, this is my niece, Kayla. What was she doing? She's here for the weekend. Last time she visited here, the upstairs was totally empty, and she had to run in the house. You must have left your door unlocked, and... Well, I'm, I'm sorry. She's sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. 
It's just, you know, it's late. And we're all tired. I'll walk you down and lock the door. Yeah, sounds good. Unlocked. Really? So, tell me, how was the first night? Mm. A little strange. Besides uh, night walking nieces and Tyler ogling back, perfectly <laughs> fine. Come on, you saw that guy. You could have worn a robe or something. Oh, so now I'm encouraging him. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Who's the night walking niece? Uh, Kayla. The landlord's niece is here to visit. She was walking around, not realizing that we had moved in, and I woke up, and she was standing right there. Seriously? Yeah. You okay, hon? Yeah, I'm just gonna go lie back down for a little bit. Uh, wake me in half an hour, and I'll help. Mm-hmm. What's up with Matt? Yeah, I don't know. Probably coming down with something. So, where's Mr. C? You know, with the move, and then last night, I figured we'd just let him sleep in. You guys must be exhausted. Yeah. Morning. Ah, son of a bitch. Are you okay? Oh. Are you all right? My hand is pretty You got me a napkin, Heather, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Take it, take it. Do you have, like, a first aid kit or something? No, I have a first aid kit downstairs. Come on. No. I'll sort it out for you. OK? Oh. Hi. See you in a couple of minutes. I'll just clean up. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Got it. What is that for? Old family cure. Uh, so, Tyler, you said you were quite a chef. Oh, yes. In fact, that's why I came up to apologize for last night. Make sure that we're still on for this evening. Yeah, we're still on. I'm looking forward to it. Good. Thanks. Yeah. I'll see you this evening. Thanks, Tyler. You're welcome. Young boy. You started this. And you'll finish it as I damn well tell you. I bet there's another way. No, there isn't. I bet there is in the book. But you like it this way, hard. You're cruel in your heart, really. No, my dear, I'm not. I'm just resigned to cruel things. And what are you but what you do? Is your niece on which side? 
she's my sister's daughter. My sister and uh, Kayla's dad are on sabbatical in Europe. What are their names? Mary and Roger Peters. They didn't want Kayla to miss out on school, so they left her in there for the year. Anyway, she really likes it. St. Francis, out near Worcester. That's a Catholic school, right? Yes, but you don't have to be religious to go there. Do you uh, go to church? Oh, we don't. We're not exactly the... We never did. Me and my manners. No religion or politics at the dinner table, right? In any case, it's a fine school. And now with Calvin here, things couldn't be better. Do you have any games? No, but I can get some. What do you do for fun? Not much. Do you want to draw? Not really. I'm not that good. Can I draw you? Uh, yeah. Sure, why not? So what do you do besides fix up old houses, Tyra? Oh, I taught Renaissance literature, edited books, I've done archive work for museums, but I mostly retire from all that now. I understand you write, Beth. So nothing glamorous. I took journalism in college, um, but I work at a bookstore right now. And I started writing a novel. Really? How interesting. I'd love to read some of your stuff. Yeah. I haven't really shared it with anyone. I'd be more than willing. It's been a long time since I've worked with a beautiful young author. <laughs> you know, Tyler, I'd like to know a little bit more about your editing work. What kind of stuff did you do in the past? Oh, history, travelogues. You know, a lot of beautiful young authors writing history? <laughs> You'd be surprised. Would you like some more wine? Why not? Hold it. Hold it. Oh, are you almost done? In one second. Okay. I'm done. You didn't even draw me. Yes, I did. You're right there. And that's me. And who are all these other people? That's your mom and dad. They fight? Yeah. Do you know who lived here um, before it was vacant? It was built by the heir of quite a prominent local family. They made their fortune out of steel. He had a wife and two children. But then, in the late 1880s... Yes, what, what happened to the family? You don't want to know the detail. Was somebody killed? You really want to know? <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to tell us now. The poor man went quite mad. He killed the family. Arsenic. Where, upstairs? No, they were all down here. Seated as if for tea. Then he hanged himself. Wow. He's mean to me. What do you mean? He's just old and dumb. I don't know, he seems pretty nice. Would you rescue me if I was in trouble? Yeah, sure. I have something for you. It's a good luck charm. What's inside? Some sand, a feather, other stuff. Is it like magic? It works for me, but you have to keep it secret. Secret? Why? The magic doesn't work, and you have to wear it all the time, even sleep with it. It'll protect you. 
Well, then why wouldn't you want it? I've had it for a long time. It wears off on one person after a while. Well, thanks. I don't feel well at all. Mm. Maybe something I ate. If I made dinner, I could see that. That meal was amazing. Aren't you feeling bad this morning? A little bit. I feel fine. Well, yeah, Tyler took care of that. What are you talking about? The flirting. Miss beautiful young author. Hey, please, he's harmless, Matt. Let's hope he stays that way. Maybe your stomach's affecting your head. Is it really that bad? I'll live. I'm just saying, I'm a guy, and I know the looks guys give. Okay. Well, when you feel up to it, why don't you draw me a chart? And I can be on the lookout. Oh, ho, ho, ho. good one. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go check on Calvin. Make sure you haven't infected him yet. Good luck with you. not baptized. We have our window. There's not much time. How do things go with Calvin? I gave it to him. And we're well on the way. The other two love each other, don't they? Did you have fun with Kayla? She's different. She seems nice. I don't know. Well, we can get to know her a little bit better if she's around other weekends. Right now, it's time for bed. We're back at it tomorrow. Yep. I love you. Love you, too. There's a message from Brian on the machine. How are you feeling? Oh, like death. You definitely have a nasty bug. Uh -huh. I hope I don't get it. Well, whatever it is, I hope it goes away quickly. Calvin? Calvin? Are you almost ready? Yeah, like 10 minutes ago. OK, I'll call you later to see how you're doing. Mm -hmm. Hey, you take it easy. I'll be. Mm -hmm. said you were in school. They should see me driving you off. You're the one who said I was in school. All these stupid plans. Things would be simpler if you'd actually managed to stay hidden for once. It's not like I woke her up on purpose. No. Either way, my charades, dear, are what deflect suspicion. Keep us safe. From what? You're the one to be feared. That's not the way I see it. They're going to the car. We need to go. OK, OK. Do you have everything? Yep. Hi. Back to work? You bet. Morning, Calvin. Hi. Maybe we could take a look at some of your writing. That'd be great. Everything's working out fine. Sure, like a dream. Shit. I got my purse. 
We gonna be late? thinking about taking you up on your offer. If you want to look at some chapters, maybe we could talk this evening, and Calvin can spend some time with Kayla, too. Yeah, I'd love that, but yeah, Kayla's in school this week. <laughs> That's right. Sorry, I forgot when I saw you bringing her back in. Hi, Beth. Hi. Uh, she forgot her bag. I'm just taking her to school now. Kayla, go get your bag. She shouldn't be back at the weekend, if that's OK. Yeah, sure, just give us a ring. I'll leave these with you. Thanks. How did you get it? I know you've been feeling under the weather, so I bought you some soup. It's important not to get dehydrated. How's Beth doing, Matt? Fat, not sick, if that's what you mean. Kind of. Everything okay between the two of you? Sure. Yes. She's coming to you? She seems to be sending me signals. She seems to be missing something, Matt. What are you trying to say to her? What? I'm, I'm probably not putting this very well, but... I know you've had trouble in the past. Pictured yourself as an artist. Beth doing her writing. But somehow things haven't quite turned out that way. Maybe not yet. You see, Beth is the kind of woman that needs a man to be decisive. Maybe she hasn't mentioned this to you directly. I lost my first wife through indecision, and to an older man. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Certainly not someone like me. I'm sorry. Perhaps I've said too much. You've been through a lot together. I'm sure you'll weather whatever storm is brewing. I mean that as a friend, not as a landlord. Matt's still at home? Yeah. He says he's pretty sick. But he always milks these things. Well, maybe this time he's the boy who cried wolf. Even so, it's gonna be a strain if he doesn't get back to work soon. Hey, have you gotten any more writing done on that novel? Not really. With moving and everything, I haven't had any time. I have said he'd offer some help, though. Hmm. He's a writer? 
Right, he says he's edited some books. I don't know a lot about him. Well, maybe he knows some publishers. There's this thing about Kayla. Denise? Yeah. You know, I don't want to say anything before no more. That reminds me. Um, I want to look into some people that lived in the house originally. Tyler says some people died there. Seriously? You're not creeped out? Not really. Anyway, are you going to be at the paper tomorrow? Yeah, don't remind me. Do me a favor. Look up stories on Pearl Street around 1880s. No problem. Should be fun reading. <laughs> I'd like to read it again before I say anything to you. Plus, you should know that I'll be brutally honest if I have to be. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. You sure? Yeah, I have to know that I'm on the right track. I need the truth, you know, good or bad, whether it hurts or not. Well, it could do us some work. Truth is always painful. You clearly have talent. With the right help. Oh. Whoa, that. Oh. Oh. You okay? I don't know. How's Calvin adjusting to the move? He seems to be doing okay. We're all a little out of sorts. Unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of time with him, though. You know? Mom! Mom! Dad needs your help! Excuse me. It's coming down. If it doesn't break by tomorrow, you should think about seeing a doctor. You gonna be okay? close to breaking. Do you need something? We used to have fun. Fun? I never had fun. What about St. Petersburg? I really liked California. You brought us back to this house, so you must have liked something about it. What about London? I remember. You had fun with her, didn't you? There's more than that. I loved her. wasn't worth it? No. All that waste of time. What about me? Could you love me, too? I do love you. Why else do you think I would? Because of who you are. You think you have to. I see how you look at me. I know what you think. Man can have doubts. What doubts made you love her? And to leave me? I won't leave you. You would have if she hadn't died. We will still need forgiveness, right? How can you expect it when you don't give any to me?
should call the doctor, say. No, I'm feeling better. <gasps> Could have fooled me. You might need some antibiotics or something. Just let it run its course. Okay. I think there's something going on downstairs. Yesterday, I forgot my purse. So I came back and saw Tyler bringing Kayla back into the house. So? Well, we all left at the same time, but he didn't end up leaving the driveway. Well, you and Tyler are all buddy buddy now. Why don't you go ask him? What? Nothing. Just forget it. No. What the hell is that comment about? I'm freaking out thinking that this man may be hiding Kayla from us, and you sit here and accuse me of I don't even know what with Tyler. Look. <sighs> Tyler comes and pays me a visit yesterday, tells me that you came on to him. Then I see you out walking back in the forest all buddy-buddy. What am I supposed to think? He offered to help me with my novel. I told you that. Right. Editing you're not making any sense. Well, I'm not making this up. I love you, and you know that. Didn't make a difference last time, did it? I'm the one working nine to five. Taking care of you, Calvin, and everything around oh, here. I know, I know. You do everything. You well, I got an idea. Why don't you stop talking and let me try and get some sleep? Fine. Kayla, help me pet. <gasps> for help now. Where is she? Honey, yeah, I don't doubt that you saw something, <clears throat> but it's late. You're probably just really tired. You don't believe me? 
It's the middle of the night. <clears throat> Can we please just go upstairs? Sorry for wasting your time. It's fine. I believe you back up down there. Would you loosen yourself? Yeah. I'm supposed to be able to count on you, Matt. Oh, you can count on me. Make sure you don't make a fool of yourself. There's something going on downstairs. I'm going to figure it out. Yeah, well. Good luck with that. Hi. This is Mary Peters, Kayla's mom. Hi. I know she's yeah. in class right now, but I'd like to leave her a message. Mary Peters. My daughter, Kayla. No, there's no mistake. Is there another St. Francis? I see. I knew it. You, uh, you want to tell me what that was all about? Kayla, the girl downstairs, is not who Tyler says she is. Well, who is she? I don't know. Heather, something is going on. Well, maybe it's time you did a little bit of snooping. What's going on, Calvin? Nothing. A boy your age should have something to do. Idle hands are the devil's playground. Watch. What is it? An initial. For who? Very old friend. Don't you get lonely out here? I'm kind of lonely everywhere. I know what you mean. Hello? Tyler? Your door is open.
Patrick Cummings, August 8th, looking for your hair's on fire what uh, sorry I'm just doing some research Samuel Wardwell who's that I'm trying to find out well what's the interest something the novel that's great onwards and upwards right did you hang out with Calvin after school? Yeah. Matt's really sick, and found out that Calvin spent most of his time yesterday afternoon by himself. Oh. I want to head up to Salem after my shift. Salem? Yeah. Why don't I just grab Calvin and we'll all go? Well, this is something I need to do on my own. I'm just looking around. Thank you. Would you like a tour? Oh, no. Thanks. Okay. Actually, can you tell me anything about Samuel Wardwell? Sure. He was the only man hung during the trials to give such a detailed account of his crimes. Um, claimed he'd met with the devil, made a deal to recruit souls, a special book to record the names, a book. Well, it was never produced, of course. It was common knowledge that he made his confession to save his wife and daughter. They were arrested, too, but released. And what were their names? Um, the daughter was Mary, wife Sarah. The daughter was also referred to as Mercy in some records. And there were other children, but I believe, well, it's always a bit confusing with the older records. So what happened to all of them? Well, for the most part, they survived. You do know there were no real witches. So in your opinion, there's no such thing as witches? Do you know what this is? It looks like a Bible. Malaeus Maleficarum, the Hammer of Witches, written by two white European gentlemen in the 15th century. It was as popular, perhaps more so, than the Bible in its day. Hammer. It was written to do away with witches? Exactly. Detect them, question them, destroy them. It was very clever. Witches will never attack directly, it would say. They will make you sick, make your family sick, make you hallucinate, paranoid, weakening you until you are willing to believe anything, do anything. For centuries, any misfortune could be blamed on witchcraft. But why would someone create and keep a ledger with the name Wardwell on the front with hundreds of names from 1693 to now? Pardon me? A ledger, a book. No, I found this book and I wanted to know what it would be. It's a fake, a practical joke. Uh, and not a very good one either. You said it was never produced. 
Because it didn't exist. Were there any pictures of him or his family? Um, not that I know of. I've never seen any. It was a long time ago. Can I give you my number? And if you find any information about the book or anything, you can give me a call. I'll see what I can do. Please call me if you find anything. Do you know what a soul is? Uh, yeah, isn't that like the part that when you die it becomes a ghost? Kind of. Is that what you believe? I don't know. Can you feel it? I don't think so. You can't. But trust me, it's there. Is this like a god thing? Pay attention. Put your hands over mine, without touching. Can you feel it? I don't know, it's uh, kind of warm. That's your soul, right there between us. When the time comes, when you're gonna have to save me, you're gonna have to give it away. But isn't giving it away like a bad thing? How can it be bad? You didn't even know that you had it. And you're not using it. Yeah, I guess. So we have a deal? Sure. Salem. You see any witches? Yeah, plenty. Um, I checked up on Matt, and I think you should probably make an appointment for him to see a doctor. I've tried. Last time I said I was trying to get rid of him, so. Whatever he's got, I certainly don't want. Hey, Calvin's in the shower, so I'm just gonna take off. All right. See you tomorrow? Yep. Okay. Bye, sweetie. All right, thanks. You okay in there? Yeah. I don't want you locking the door, though. Can you open it? No, it's okay. No, it's not. If you slip or something, open it now. I just want you to be safe, that's all. I'll take these down to the wash. No, it's okay. I'll uh, take them to the wash when I'm done. What's this? What is this for? Nothing. What's on your chest? It's Let's okay. It's... Where did you get this? I forget. Kelvin, don't lie. A kid at school gave it to me. Who? You know my friend Harry? Him. I think you're lying to me, Kelvin. What is going on now? Kelvin says he got this from a friend at school. So? I think he got it downstairs. No, I didn't. What difference does it make where he got it? It matters, Matt. I'm throwing it away. You can. It's bad luck. Really? Look at your chest. You call that good luck? I'm taking it out.
did you give to Calvin? I did what you told me. No, you didn't. You changed it. After all I've done, all I'm doing for you. You're doing this for him. I told you, there's more than one way to do things. Besides, I'm just having a little fun. <clears throat> Bad. Bad. Honey, you think you're being a little over the top here? I'm not. No more cookies from downstairs, Calvin. Mom, I like those cookies. No, you don't. You don't know what's in them, Calvin. Almonds. Poison. Oh, honey, that is just insane. I am not insane. There are things going on, Matt. Someone is making you sick. Do you not see that? I'm starting to feel better. Oh, great. You're upright for the first time ever since we moved in. Oh, right, and you're never, ever sick because you're so perfect. I guess I have to be, don't I? Can you please stop? We were. I've been under a lot of strain lately, and things have been confusing. I just feel like... What, baby? What is it? Are we gonna stay a family? Buddy, of course we are. Everything's gonna be fine, I promise. When? You'll be able to save me soon. Am I dreaming? No. Had the worst nightmare.
sleep okay, Calvin? Fine. No bad dreams or anything? No. Why? No reason. Just ask him. What about you? I'm okay. How about Dad? He'll be fine. This is by the same author. You might enjoy that one, too. Excuse me, just a second. Hello? This is Janine Todd from the Salem Museum. Uh, I need to speak with you. What is it? I, I can't say over the phone. Can you come and see me? At the museum? I'm at work right now, but... It's really very important. I have something you need to see. Why? You need to come as soon as possible. I'm just gonna go to my room for a sec. Okay, but hurry up. Food's gonna get cold. show me this is for you what is it my boss left it for you yesterday was his last day he said it was very important that it would give you the answers that you're looking for you knew him. wrong with them.
together. Pick up the phone. Sorry things had to end this way, Count. Only Kayla had made the talisman right. Everything would have been simpler. What have you done to my parents? I've done to them what was necessary for you. I have had to make the most noble of choices. save your parents? Do you want things to be as they once were? Yes. And there is one thing I need from you. What is it? soul is. Yes. You want to see your parents live? You want to see them happy? You want to see them live for a very, 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 very long time? Of course I do. Then you must commit your soul. You must say a bad Give yourself to him. And if I don't? Man, your father's good as dead. Man, your mother. But if you do as I say, they'll live. You'll all live. You'll get the same bargain I was offered. You'll do as we did. Pay him back, and his claim on your family will be erased. Because then we're no better than you. Your family isn't worth it. The brethren. Lord of darkness. Say his name. Three times. Say it now. Mercy never wanted to be free. You never asked. I've done it all for you. You still don't know who I am? After all this time? I am. 
Did you think I was just gonna let you go? I have plans for you! What plans? What do you think I've been doing all these years? It was all for you, Mercy! It was for you! But Mercy never wanted it! The planet! I've been waiting for you.